Hey everybody, this is Nate over at Bunny Bin Games, and uh, today we're going to talk about using the MCS female light character. We're going to animate it. That seems to be the number one thing in the thread here that people are looking for um, tips on how to animate these characters and do they work with Mechanim? Do they work with all this other stuff? So uh, I'm here to tell you, yes, they work with Mechanim. Uh, they actually work with anything that's a humanoid animation it seems to work well in my experience. So today what we're going to do is rig this character up to a character controller and we're going to borrow some of the animation that comes with the Ethan character that ships with the standard Unity assets. So we'll just jump right in here. Uh, blank canvas. I'm going to assume that you've gone through this tutorial and you've got your character already imported into the scene. And if you don't, go ahead and pause this, watch the other video, get in position to work with this character. So once you're there, we're going to import the character first. So Morph 3D, Content, Starter Packs, Female, MSC Female, and uh, we'll go ahead and drag and drop that into the canvas and set it to 0, 0, 0. Right, looking good so far. We'll add a little clothing. Now I've purchased some extra packs. This is the Paladin of Light pack, which I think is pretty cool. So we'll give her some armor. And we'll drop the bodysuit on, the Paladin of Light armor on here. Uh, let's give her some hair real quick. Hair. And I know this doesn't directly have to do with the animation, but it just looks cool. We'll go with it. So there we go. We've got some hair. We are styling. All right, this Paladin is looking good. Now let's adjust the camera for the game so we can see a little bit better as to what we're up to. Okay, take that camera, spin it. Nice, nice. Okay, so we'll just play it, make sure everything works good, compiles correctly. Yeah, everything's fine. All right, cool. So with that in position, we're going to set up the ground plane because ultimately we're going to walk across the ground here. So plane, scale it out a bit, and drop it down. So essentially she's floating right now off the ground, which is totally fine. That's where we want to be. Okay, so with the ground in place, the next thing to do is we're going to set up um, the characters, or the character script. So go to Assets, go to Import Package, and then go to Characters. Now, I've already got this imported into my scene. Go ahead and hit the Import button, let that install. When that's finished, you're going to see in your projects window the standard assets folder. Now, under standard assets, you're looking for characters, and then you're looking for third person character, and then under there, you're looking for prefabs. <clears throat> You'll see the third person controller. Go ahead and drag and drop that to the canvas for a moment just to have a look at what we have. Here's Ethan. Now, maybe you're familiar with Ethan, he's the standard Unity 5 character now, and he comes pre rigged with a control. I'm using the keyboard right now to control him. Uh, he's got a jump, and he's got some really nice animations just already off the bat. He turns pretty smooth. It's not bad. It's a good place to start. So we're going to make the Paladin essentially inherit all of Ethan's animations and controls. I know, right? It looks so static, but in any minute, it's going to become alive. So let's pause that. Now, in the hierarchy, go ahead and select Ethan, which is third-person character controller. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the animator, rigid body, capsule collider, third person user controller, and third person character scripts onto our MCS female character, who I'm going to rename Paladin so I can say Paladin. It's much easier. So let's start with the animator. Now, the thing to note here with the animator is that your character by default, the Paladin, already has an animator on it. So as opposed to copying and pasting, we're going to go to the animator. We're going to click control and then click this tiny little button next to the controller and type in third, oops, third person, there it is, third person animated controller. Go ahead and click that. Now that's the controller Ethan currently has on him. So we're going to set that there. We're going to keep the avatar set to MCS female avatar, which is the default. We're not going to touch anything else there. So now we're going to go back to Ethan and we're going to copy the rigid body. So uh, you click this little widgety thing there and go to Copy Component, go back to the Paladin, and then click any of these other widgets and go to Paste Component as New. And we're going to go back and do this for the Capsule Collider. Copy Component, back to our uh, Morph3D character. We're going to Paste Component as New. 
And you guessed it, we're going to do it for the scripts. So copy back to the character and paste. Paste component is new. And then finally, this last script here, we're going to copy that and go back to our palette and, and paste it. So now let's just count to make sure we have everything correct. We don't need the transform, by the way. We're skipping that. So we have one, two, three, four, five components. And the Paladin's got one, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, see, I have an extra one right here. This is why we check. Looks like I pasted this script down here twice. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, with all those pieces in place, we're going to go ahead and get rid of Ethan now. So I'm deleting the third person character controller from the hierarchy. We're going to press play and just like that. Oh, oh, what's going on? It almost looks like it worked, right? So she's got these kind of like weird skippy problems. So to fix that, what we're going to do is go back to the paladin. And we're going to have to look at the capsule collider first of all. Now the capsule collider, uh, okay, right here. Now you can see this capsule collider is not perfect for the character, but it's actually kind of all right for our purposes. The reason why she's getting that weird jump is because down here, where it says ground check distance, this distance is too much, or too little. So we're going to put that at 0.5 for now. And press play. And now you can see she's attached to the floor. That ground check distance has a lot to do with... Uh, uh, detecting if she's touching the ground or not. Now, this is something you need to get into later about adjusting this to be correct for your character as you move on to actually turn this into a game. But for now, for learning, this is perfectly fine. Uh, you notice she's got the mega jump, which I think is pretty sweet. But if you want to turn that down too, it's in this controls down here. You can turn this jump power down to about a five, perhaps. That might be good. Yeah, that's a little bit more, you know. It's not perfect, you can play with those numbers and dial it in, but you see our character is really moving well now. It moves just like Ethan, and it's a totally Morph 3D character. So I think this might put it into perspective that how flexible these characters really are. Um, they're, they're really well made as far as animation goes. A lot of things plug right in. So hopefully this is helpful to you to get going quickly with these characters. Um, Pretty much, you got to uh, clean it up a little bit after that, but that's kind of beyond the scope of this. Uh, you can see her face, for example, kind of like she's got this kind of mush mouth going on. Uh, and that has to do with because the way Ethan's head animations are rigged up versus the way these, um, these, let me show you, MCS characters are rigged are slightly different in the avatar. So that's for another another day, essentially, but this will get you going. Hopefully this is helpful to you and kind of paints a picture that you can do a lot with these characters. Uh, and if you follow this video, you can do a lot pretty quick. All right, guys, hope that's helpful to you. Thanks.